But I went to some random hill because this is what I do, right? And this is where I ended. Some really height above the Kobe with some landmark that has three stars on the Google Maps. Apparently, there's a rope line, so you don't have to go through this forest, hills, rocks and trails. You can just jump on that cabin and be super happy. A few moments you are on one of those hills. Cool. But this is definitely more challenging. Especially <laughs> with my shoes. <laughs> And in the hills you can find this Nunomiki reservoir with dam that support Kobe with lot of fresh water. You won't find any garbage here. As in the forest this place is perfectly neat. People realize the importance of clean water. After multiple waterfalls, the river ends under Shinkansen station, which is actually a bridge. What I like is this sign that warns you about the flooding of the channel in case of joint rains. You have here even this lovely warning light. But you would need bigger rain to trigger it. Around midnight I went to visit Port of Kobe Earthquake Memorial Park, where they preserved pavewalk in the exact same condition as it was after destructive 1995 Kobe earthquake. The atmosphere there was intense. On the way back I noticed workers on the road, because in Japan infrastructure is repaired during the night. and a random Kobe local restaurant. That is everything for today. Next time I will tell you more about Osaka.